Hello everybody and welcome to the Red Cyber Class. My name is Andrea and I'm here tonight, today, tomorrow. I mean, even in a month if you are looking this video, watching this video a month ahead when I'm recording that. So, you are from the future. How are you? How is there the time? I mean, the COVID is gone, hopefully, because here in Italy we're starting to struggle a little bit. So, I really hope that you are carrying good news for me. Anyway, sorry. I'm here tonight to teach you and to explain to you how to apply the lens correction uh, function, you know, of Lightroom to all your photos automatically, straight away, directly, when you import all of them uh, into the software. The time where, you know, you were like editing your photo and all of a sudden at the end of the edit and you're quite happy, you notice that there is that achromatic aberration or, you know, that there is a little bit of vignetting you want to remove and, oh, <laughs> I forgot lens correction. Bloop and then it's changed and you have to re-edit a little bit of the photo to go back to where you were. Well, and then the next photo, you, for, you forget, you actually forget about that. And so you, you need to, yeah, it, it, with, that, with this technique that I'm gonna show you tonight, it, this is not gonna happen again. It's automatically done by the computer, by the system, automatically. I mean, when I discovered that, I was like, blown. Here we are, let's open up our Lightroom, boom. So once we are here, simply let's go to the develop window. And what we have to do basically guys, is to create a preset and to tell to the software to apply that preset to all the photos on import. So it's not that difficult. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So first things first, we create the preset. So we go here, we are in develop, we go here in presets, we click the little plus over here. So if you open, you see there are all the featured uh, presets. So create a new preset. Let's give the title. So in this case, it's going to be lens correction. Corrections. And now what we have to do basically is, you see here you can create your own presets, but what we need now to be applied on import is the lens correction. So we simply flag the lens correction group with all the functions below. So basically lens profile corrections, chromatic aberration, lens distortions, lens vignetting, everything. And when, once this is done, simply created the preset. Boom. Now we have it, it's here. So we need just to tell the software to apply this preset on import. Simple, just right click on lens corrections, the presets, and apply on import. Boom. Now, it's basically automatically working. So let's, let's try to import some photos and see if the software responds correctly. So let's go to the library. Import. Bologna. Check all. Import. Boom. Okay, so now let's check one photo if we have the presets uh, already allocated. So we go back to develop. We open up the lens correction tab and et voila! Remove chromatic aberration and profile corrections enabled. You see the difference? And that's it! Easy as that! And that's all guys for today's video. I mean, I really hope that this video helped you in some way, in any way. Please let me know down below in the comments what do you think, if you have any comments or suggestions or requests or doubts or problem issues that you need some support. We are just a few people here around to so just drop a comment and I will answer for sure. Okay, that's it guys. So thank you very much for watching. Put a like if you like the video, subscribe in case you're not yet subscribed and I will see you hopefully in the next video. Okay? Cheers. Per fortuna che c'è. I mean, why I'm saying that? If you are here, that's exactly why. Because you were looking for that. I'm sure. I'm sure. I mean, you search for that, Andrea, the red cyberglass, how to apply a preset to all the, you know, that's, that's the kind of stuff you were looking for. D. That's good. Why it's so difficult to do an intro? Why it's that's damn difficult? It's a tutorial, just explain, just explain.